Soy sauce, uh, definitely an out of the box ingredient and something that I wouldn't usually play with. However, when we're talking about cocktails, the important thing to remember whenever we're talking about ingredients is where that ingredient hits on your palate. Is it sweet? Is it salty? Is it sour? Is it bitter? Is it umami? In soy sauce's case, umami and salt are definitely the characters that jump out at you. And you don't see salt a lot in drinks, but when it is there, it brings everything into line and it really helps focus flavor. So soy sauce, a uh, bit of a tricky devil. What I'm gonna do today is I'm going to play off the umami and salt characters that I find in it. First up, stewed fruit. If you've ever had a salted fig, you'll know what I'm talking about, or a baked fig. Using something similar, I've got conserve. Sounds counterintuitive, little tiny bit of lemon juice. The acid's gonna play really nicely with the salt character in the soy sauce. Bring a bit of sweetness back into the equation. We use a pineapple infused chartreuse here at Baru Bar, and it's amazing. And then of course, when we're thinking about a base for a cocktail, we've got to think about our spirit. I've chosen Mezcal. Mezcal's got some of those characters that I associate with cooking and those sort of flavors. It's a little bit salty, it's got a bit of smoke to it. It's robust enough, and I think it's a strong enough flavor that's gonna stand right with the soy sauce side by side, which is cool. So, moving in to actually making the drink, about 10 mils of lemon juice that I mentioned. Conserve, I'm gonna use a bar spoon, a nice heaped bar spoon of this. For those of you playing along at home, teaspoon will suffice. The soy sauce, we're gonna use a bar spoon again to measure two bar spoons. Nice and easy. Break it up a little bit. Let that lemon juice do its work. Combine the flavors as well. Set that to the side. Pineapple chartreuse. Gonna go with just under a full measure, so 25 mils. And then our mezcal, just over a full measure, 35 mils. Give that another little stir with the spoon. Really break things up. I've gone with a julep cup and julep style. Reason being, we're working with some pretty full on flavors here. Soy, chartreuse, mezcal. What's gonna happen with the julep is the ice is gonna compact it, it's gonna, but it's also gonna dilute a lot slower. So it's a little bit more of a controlled dilution when you're sipping on it. So the first sip is gonna be a huge, big burst of flavor. And then as it sort of breaks down, as you sip it further down, the flavor's gonna meld a little bit better. Really great drink for when the weather warms up and when it gets nice and summery. As I said, crushed ice. I'm gonna agitate it again. You'll see that the julep cup's gonna start to frost up, which is exactly what we want. Last but not least, we're gonna garnish this guy in true traditional julep fashion. Couple of mint sprigs. Gonna just slap them about a bit. It's gonna open up the pores in the leaf. Release that perfume. Pop them in the ice like that. And then a couple of straws. Bob's your mother's brother. I gotta throw down the gauntlet. My contemporary, my housemate, and a dear friend, Mr. Paris Hilton. You got kimchi, buddy. Enjoy.